Hey guys, so I'm outside for the first time in a very, very long time. I don't normally film outside because, quite frankly, the weather is normally rubbish in England. But we've had the most beautiful sunny week, which has got me in the mood for summer. And I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to film outside and the perfect opportunity to talk to you all about kind of body polishing, bronzing type products. Products that I love using in the summer to make my body look its best. Now, I'm going to start with kind of preparation because if you are going to tan or fake tan, then you need to make sure that you prepare your skin well so that it holds the tan well, it lasts, it looks good, it doesn't go patchy and all that jazz. So the first things first is scrub and I actually made a video, a fake tan video last summer and I think a lot of the products are the same because um, a lot of them are just so good I keep on coming back to them. So the first one, my favourite scrub of all time, that's Wolf Barking, not sure what she's barking about. So my favourite scrub of all time is Soap and Glory's Flake Away. Um, this is pretty cheap, I think it's £7 for this huge tub. It does the job, it smells lovely. It's probably one of the best scrubs I've tried, including like super expensive spa brands that are like £30 each. I think it's definitely, definitely worth the money. It smells wonderful, I already said that. Oh, it's so good. Um, and the thing that I love the most about this is that it also comes in a travel size that you can buy for £2.50. And to be honest, the main time that I use body scrubs is when I'm on holiday, so it's great to be able to have like a travel size that will last like a week. So I love that. Um, next up, for like kind of moisturization purposes, Actually, really quickly, I'm gonna talk about um, this body brush that I have. Now, body brushes are pretty much, that's an aeroplane, that is an aeroplane fly away. Now there are so many products on the market that claim to get rid of cellulite, to kind of banish cellulite and to be honest, um, although some of them do have kind of scientific claims behind them, most of them are a load of rubbish. Like nothing is going to get rid of your cellulite just by putting cream on your legs or your bum. Nothing is going to do it like that. You need to either do exercise, lose weight, whatever. But one thing that will help if you have cellulite is body brushing. Now, this is kind of weird because you do it when your skin is dry and you kind of buff it either in circular motions if you're doing your stomach or if you're doing your legs, you go in kind of like upwards strokes towards your heart. Um, and it is quite a weird sensation when you first do it. It's very weird, but it does help to combat cellulite for the next kind of 12 hours, I would say. It increases blood flow and the flow of lymph under the skin. It's all quite technical, but basically it helps reduce the appearance of cellulite temporarily. It's not a permanent fix, but nothing is unless you're actually gonna lose the fat. Like, no creams will really work. So, um, if you have cellulite, that's a definite um, tip for you guys. And most girls have cellulite, no matter how fat or skinny you are. Um, it's actually genetic, so it's pretty kind of impossible to get rid of totally. Obviously, you can minimize it, but um, everybody usually has a little bit unless you have zero fat on you. Um, in which case, you're very lucky. Um, okay, next up moisturizer now i have talked about these two moisturizers a couple of times recently they are my first aid beauty um, body moisturizer and ultra repair cream the body moisturizer i use for my arms legs just general all over body it's great it's really just a basic good moisturizer it does the job i love that and the ultra repair cream i find really helps to moisturize my elbows knees and feet um, which just kind of generally helps to keep tan on longer as well because I know if you guys use fake tan you'll know that it tends to kind of cling to your elbows or your knees if you're not careful if you have dry patches so that one is really really good um, next up moving on to actual tans now I've got three different types of tans that are my favorites and I pretty much don't really deviate from using these um, the first one is Zen Tan which is my favorite kind of proper fake tan that you put on once a week and it will keep you tanned it stays like no other it smells less than any other ones that i've used and the color is really great it's a green tone tan so it doesn't send you yellow or orange it just gives you a really really gorgeous color absolutely love it, it lasts for ages this is almost empty this bottle but i've had it since last summer because it actually does last a week it's really really good um, next up if you like a kind of gradual tan like an everyday moisturizer with tan in it Sienna X is my favourite. This is the old packaging, but I still have a little bit left in this one from last summer as well. Um, yeah, really, really great. The only problem with this is that it's not coloured, so you can't see where you're putting it, which I find really frustrating. But I find it really moisturising. Um, it leaves a really good colour. It builds up very nicely. It doesn't go orange. It says it's anti-cellulite formulation, but again, like I said, there's nothing, there's not really anything that's going to be anti-cellulite. Anyway, um, that is that. And then... Finally, for fake tanning, this is 
my favorite product out of all of the products that I'm mentioning to you today this is actually my like real recommendation this is what I use the most and it's the weirdest product ever it's this works perfect legs skin miracle now it says a powerful serum with vitamin C to perfect repair and enhance and this is not something I ever would really look at and think oh that will be amazing but it is the most fantastic like wash off kind of tint to your skin it isn't really a fake tan it doesn't really send you a kind of like darker brown color but it just makes your skin look great it is called perfect legs skin miracle you don't just use it on your legs I use it on my arms legs whichever part of my body is exposed um, and it just looks great it doesn't even have a shimmer to it it just somehow adds this gorgeous kind of bronzed glow um, and just makes your skin look a lot nicer so if you're exposing your legs I would really really recommend getting this especially if it's the first kind of few weeks of summer like it is now and your legs haven't seen the light of day since last winter um, this stuff is amazing absolutely love it it's wonderful it's really expensive I think it's um, is it 28 or 32 pounds it's really expensive for what it is but honestly it's really worth it it's such such a good product anyway I've raved enough about that one now. Um, another quick mention of fake tan. I do use fake tan kind of from time to time during the summer, but I also do properly tan my body. So my body tends to get a lot more tanned um, than my face because I wear Factor 50 on my face every day. Um, so in order to kind of match it up a little bit, I do use a facial tanner, like an everyday one. I've only actually used this for a couple of days because it's not usually very sunny in England and I don't normally get much of a natural tan anyway, but it has been very, very sunny the last week so I've started to get a little bit of colour on my body but not on my face because I wear Factor 50 on my face. So I've been using the Simple Kind of Skin Sun Kissed Moisture Cream with Light Gradual Tan and I found it's really natural looking and I really like it. It doesn't really smell too bad or anything I just really like it and because it's simple it doesn't have lots of kind of harsh chemicals in it and it's cheap so that's all good for me I like that a lot and then finally just another quick kind of recommendation for you it's not so much to do with bronzing or tanning but it's more to do with sun protection my favorite favorite sun cream of all time is the Pittsburgh and one day long lotion this is the 30 um, factor one which is the one that I wear if I'm actually on holiday if I'm in England and I kind of have exposed limbs and I'm outside for a long time I usually put 15 on because the Sun here isn't usually as strong as when I go abroad um, but yeah this stuff is absolutely incredible it's expensive it's 20 pounds a bottle but I always buy it when it's buy one get one free which makes it 10 pounds a bottle and you have to apply it probably three times less than normal sun cream so it lasts for ages Mike and I usually have um, two bottles of these when we go away for 10 days in the summer and we don't finish them we usually just finish the 30 and then half finish the 15 that's how long they last they're really really amazing you put them on last for six hours sunbathing done don't have to like if you're on the beach you don't have to get sandy sun cream and all that jazz I love this anyway that is it for my bronzed kind of body products video I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to call this video yet but I'm sure I'll think of a title and it will be up there but I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys are enjoying the last few rays of sunshine because no doubt England will be not sunny in a few days because let's face it it's England but wherever you are I hope you have a lovely sunny summer and I will see you in the next video bye